So first, we're going to grab this little uh, crab claw, and we're going to put that in our hair to keep everything out of the way. And now we're going to use a coat of paint just to cover up our chin here. And we're going to make sure we get under the eyes, under the nose, and we're going to make three, four, five, six, set, uh, all kinds of dots here. And we're just going to blend them all together. And we're just going to keep blending until we don't see the skin anymore. We just want that fresh coat of paint. And we're going to blot up here by our hair. And on the nose, under the eyes. Basically just get rid of our skin. All right, now we're going to use uh, coat number two of paint. And we're just going to draw some lines here, kind of like some war paint. Just kind of put whatever wherever you want to. And we grab this little fluffy thing again. And there we go, coat number two. And we just keep blending. We're just going to keep blending everything. And again, we're just trying to get rid of our skin color. And now, coat number three. This one is the most creative one, okay? We're gonna do our little Illuminati triangle there. And we're gonna try to do one there. It's a little bit off, but that's okay. It'll still work. And put a little line here, line there. Just get creative with it, you know? If you wanna look like a peacock, even better. So here we go. And I like that look, but we're gonna get rid of it and just kind of blend it in. And again, just keep dabbing everything. If it hurts, then you're doing it right. Just keep going until it hurts. Now we're gonna use our cocoa butter and nothing's coming out. So I'll just pretend that I'm putting it on because there's really nothing in there. A little bit of dust, that's all right. So this doesn't really do anything. It's just kind of, it, it tickles and it, it feels good. So we're just gonna pretend we're putting stuff on here and dab here, dab there, all right. Now we're gonna smear some butter over our eyes because it'll help us be able to open our eyes better, open and shut them more smoothly. So we're also gonna put a little bit underneath. Okay, now we gotta get this eye. So we just kind of smear the butter around. And now it's time for some cinnamon. And we're just gonna put that above our eyes. That'll stick nicely to the butter. And we want like a darker shade above just to give it a pop. And that looks pretty good. It kind of hurts. It stings because it's cinnamon, but it's worth it. Okay. Now we're going to blend it up and just keep going up and up. And maybe another coat. All right, now we're going to do this eye. Get that first layer right above the eye and again we're going to work our way up blending it into our eyebrow and i'm trying not to cry but i do look good so now we're going to get naked oh no now we're going to put some more paint uh, above our eye and this is just a little bit lighter than the cinnamon it's kind of gold and takes the pain away a little bit. Now we're gonna use a little bit of dirt and that just goes underneath the eye. We're just gonna make a little line just so people know where our eye stops. And there we go. Oops, messed up. Now we're gonna use some more colors. We're gonna use that color right there. It's kind of empty, but we're gonna see if we can scrape some stuff out of there. Now we're going to get the inside here where our tear ducts are. And now we're going to go back up to our eyebrow and we're just kind of touching up around our eyes. If there's any spot that we missed, we're going to go and touch. Now we're going to do some more lines of paint because I realized I missed a spot down there. Now I'm going to use this thing and Again, this is just, there's nothing on here, but it's just another another thing that feels good, so I'm just gonna do it. So, dab, 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 do 
food on this side. Now we're almost done. Nope, we're not. We're gonna just keep going. It's because I'm stuck and I have to keep going. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is scrape some of our eyelashes off because we have too many. So we use this little thing and it actually pulls some of them out. Because you don't want too many eyelashes because that's not that's not a good look. So there we go, pull some out, ow, ow, oh, okay. Now, we're gonna use this mascara. And with the remaining eyelashes, we wanna kinda darken those a little bit so people know we still have some. So I'm just gonna keep curling these out and painting them. Make sure I get the ones on the bottom too. And now we're gonna do this eye. And make sure you close your eye because if you leave it open, you'll get it in your eye. You don't want that. Now we're gonna grab some more paint. And we're just gonna kind of fill in our eyebrows because I didn't do a good job of plucking them. So I just have to make sure I fill in the holes now we're going to do uh, coat number two. Mm, here we go. Let's make it a little bit darker. Keep going, get the hair out of my face. And now we're going to open this wallet and make a fish face. And we're just going to kind of draw a line around our face so people know where my face is. Keep that fish face though, because that's the key. And maybe get your hair a little bit. And we're gonna do it again, a little bit harder, because it didn't really hurt the last time, so I gotta go a little bit harder. Get by the hair, really scrub hard. All right, now we're gonna use this. We're gonna grab that fluffy thing here and grab some more of that color and just kind of do it again. Um, Basically, the more times you do it, the prettier you get. So you just keep going until you're pretty enough. So now we're gonna use a smaller brush because that last one hurt. This one's a little bit softer. And make sure you get your hair. You wanna have a little bit of makeup in your hair because it'll really look good. Now we're gonna put some chapstick on. And now we're gonna put some lip gloss on. And just kind of rub your lips together. I like to taste it too, so. I want to make sure it tastes good. There we go. Mm, yeah, it's pretty good. Now we take the crab claw and we put our hair back down. I look amazing. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This makeup look is my go-to makeup look when I know I want to get a little more dressed up but I don't want to necessarily experiment too much because I don't have a lot of time. Be sure to check the description box below. I will have all the products listed that I used in there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you did, please leave a thumbs up and tell me what your favorite part of the video was in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.